My name is Tina, and I am a stay-at-home mother. I'm Nathan. I'm a pastor at St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church in Council Bluffs. Um, when we were married, um, it never was our dream to homeschool. I, don't, I came from a public um, education. My father's in public education. I have my um, elementary education teaching degree, so my dream was to be a teacher in the public school setting. Um, but it, we just found when we moved here that as we thought more about training up your children in the way they should go by the command of our Lord, that we just thought homeschooling was the best option. We believe very significantly that we want the kids to be a, uh, an active part of the decision making in their education. We want them to know, we want to be very open, we want to be very communicative. Um, we want them to understand why we homeschool, what at least that's our, our impression as Christian parents. We believe that thus and so, kids. What do you think about that? We want them to be involved in that. And I think that carries over into everything else. Well, we, we want them to realize that if they work hard, there's benefit. You know, play, playtime is significantly important, I think, in the life of the family uh, so that we recognize, yeah, life isn't just a whole bunch of do this, do that, do this, do that. Um, but, but there's a balance. And little do they know while they are playing outside, they are still learning. Yeah. Whether yeah. it be in the garden or even playing sports with their siblings, learning to cooperate and teamwork and following rules. So even though we're playing, there's a lot of exploration. They don't know that the garden is their science class. Yeah. We <laughs> talked about all kinds of science, you know, in the, the uh, hardening off. I mean, we are having the plants out. We built cold frames. Isaac last year built a greenhouse, you know. But they don't realize it's study. They're studying. Yeah. They think they're playing. We kind of have a standard in our, in our home, a very strong standard that, that we are Christians first before anything else. Out of all of our loves, um, we love Christ because he first loved us. And so we set, set Christ and our focus on, on our God and strengthening our faith in him as, as number one priority. And so it doesn't matter what's going on on that Wednesday evening or Sunday morning, the thing that's going on for us is our perspective, you know, our focus on, on church. The goal is every night at 8 o'clock we have our family devotions, we kind of have our family altar, we gather around uh, together and, and we study God's Word and we're in, uh, I meditate on His Word, we sing, so on and so forth. But that absolutely sets the framework for then building our life together. Yeah. Some people say if you are secure in your environment then you can begin to learn. And so being secure in your home environment, you know your parents love you, you know they're taking care of you. Okay, now I can learn something. I, I'm at peace. I feel like that, that was a, a wonderful gift that my parents gave to me. We pray that they will grow up as loving Christian young men and women. And so that it starts in the home and then it'll build out to the neighbors and the community. I just have very, we both have very high standards for our kids. And you know, when you have high standards for someone, chances are they'll meet it. And in many cases, you know, the kids want to please you. Uh, they want to, they want to know that you're proud of them. Um, but more than anything, you know, we want to be preparing the kids to be critical thinkers, to be independent thinkers, to, and to, above all, be truth seekers. When we heard we, this award came up, I almost felt guilty knowing that we are not perfect, and, and nobody is. Um, but there are many, many wonderful, caring, Christian, loving, serving families out there. So it's quite humbling to know that there are members in our congregation that nominated us.